mission to bring two astronauts back home from the International Space Station delayed once again. It's the third time now that NASA and Boeing have pushed the return flight back. NASA's SUNY Williams and Bitch Butch Wilmore reached the International Space Station on June 6 with the goal of testing the Starliner's viability and then heading back home. But NASA says it discovered the spacecraft had helium leaks, thruster issues, and it was having trouble connecting to its control host. Let's bring in Dr. Jeff Hoffman, a former NASA astronaut who spent more than 1,200 hours in space and is now professor of aeronautics and astronautics at MIT. Welcome, Jeff. Good morning. Good morning. So NASA and Boeing have rejected the idea that these astronauts are, quote, stuck on the ISS. Why is that? Why do you think the situation is being blown out of proportion? Is it being blown out of proportion? Well, I, I mean, I think just the, the fact that you, you, as the headline, you say NASA astronauts stranded in space. I mean, stranded, it makes it sound like they're stuck on a desert island with nothing to eat or drink. But no, I mean, the astronauts, just to be clear, they're in no danger at all. They're they're on the International Space Station. There's plenty to eat, plenty to drink, plenty of oxygen to breathe. The real question is, they do want to come home. And um, is the Boeing Starliner capsule, with the problems that have been observed in the propulsion system, is it safe for them to come home in it? Uh, they're perfectly safe staying up on the International Space Station. That's what Boeing and NASA are working on. Is the capsule safe to come home in? Jeff, what is a test flight like this supposed to look like? What's the average time for this kind of mission? Well, uh, an average test flight like this should have really gone on the originally planned schedule. They really wanted to make sure that the uh, capsule could survive launch, could dock with the International Space Station, and come home safely. Um, to have the crew spend a lot of time on the station, I mean, that was not part of the mission. So. Uh, yeah, they were supposed to be on a one-week mission, and now they're going to be up for almost a month. Now, I have to say, as an astronaut, if someone sent me up for a week and I got to spend a whole month in space, I mean, I love being in space. But on the other hand, uh, I'd like to be sure that the capsule that's going to take me home is going to put me safely back in the, in the ocean. Yeah, you want to come home. So can you tell me what exactly went wrong? How common are these helium leaks? And what risks do they pose, not only to the mission, but of course to two astronauts? Okay, it, it's all part of the propulsion system. The little jets which, you know, orient the the vehicle. And when you're coming, getting ready to come home, you have to be pointed in just the right direction. Uh, you have a heat shield on the bottom of your capsule and it has to hit the atmosphere at just the right angle, which means your propulsion system has to work. There's a limited number of thrusters. Some of those thrusters seem to have been malfunctioning. And the real question is, is there a workaround? Do, do they have enough good thrusters for safe attitude control during reentry? And I assume that that's, I mean, I don't know the details of those thrusters, but I assume that that's what Boeing and NASA are working through now. What are the mm -hmm. contingencies and, and can the capsule safely return to Earth? Jeff, I have less than a minute, but I got to ask you, you've been to outer space five different times. What do you think went through the astronauts' minds when they were told, listen, you might have to stay up there a little bit longer? Well, as I say, I mean, no, nobody's going to complain about having to, I mean, being up in space is great, uh, being weightless, looking at the Earth go by. But on the other hand, these are professional astronauts who have a mission, which was to demonstrate the safe uh, and reliable operation of the Starliner capsule. And so, I mean, they obviously are going to be, I mean, they have the most at stake right now of anybody in the world. They've got to ride this thing home. Uh, and of course, if NASA and Boeing finally decide that it's not safe to ride home, well, they can bring the, the capsule back, I suppose, in an unmanned uh, return and sure. have the Sonny and, and Butch go back on a SpaceX. That would be very embarrassing for Boeing and for NASA, I'm afraid. And so let's hope that they can get it fixed and bring them home safely. And Boeing
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.